Bosom Buddies was a popular 1980s television sitcom created by Bob Boyette, Tom Miller, and Chris Thompson, and it starred actors Tom Hanks and Peter Scolari. The show had many memorable moments throughout its run on TV, from the funny takes on the male-female interpersonal relationships to the quirky humor. Bosom Buddies was a show that had many people always laughing and wondering what would happen next. The show was based on the misadventures of two single men, working in creative advertising, struggling in their industry while disguising themselves as women in order to live in the one apartment building they could afford. From the description alone, one could tell that this show was not only fun to watch, but also fun to make. So let's take a look back at some of the behind-the-scenes facts about the production of the television show Bosom Buddies. To start, the cross-dressing concept in Bosom Buddies is what the show is primarily known for, and it's a big part of the plot. But would it surprise you to learn that Bosom Buddies didn't originally plan for the show to lead in that direction? When Thomas Miller and Robert Boyette pitched the series to the network, the two envisioned it as a male spin on their hit Laverne and Shirley. When the ABC producers heard them mention their ideas, they remembered the legendary performances of Jack Lemmon and Tony Curtis dressing in drag in the film Some Like It Hot, and they loved the idea. Miller and Boyette ended up going along with it, and thus the signature cross-dressing storyline was added to the show. Bosom Buddies is set in Manhattan, New York, with the two leads working for the ad agency Livingston, Gentry, and Michigan. However, like many sitcoms, the show was actually filmed in Los Angeles. This wouldn't be that big of a deal, except that in the opening scenes of the show, the producers did nothing to hide the fact that they were not in New York, but instead, walking around in puddles past palm trees. Now, it doesn't take an expert to know that there are no palm trees in Manhattan, but it seems that this detail did not affect the appeal of the show and simply blended into its charm. Bosom Buddies was Tom Hanks' big break, and it's what helped him launch his career as an actor. Although nowadays we know him to be the movie star that can make millions per role, Tom Hanks was paid only $2,500 per episode for Bosom Buddies. In the 1980s, for a young actor, that wasn't bad at all. But it is still quite crazy to imagine such an accomplished actor starting out so small. It is definitely a testimony to how far Hanks has made it in the business, over the last 40 years. For many people, Billy Joel singing the theme song to Bosom Buddies is what they remember most about the sitcom. The catchy tune, My Life, was certainly a great addition to the many amazing theme songs of the 1980s. However, Billy Joel himself did not actually sing the theme song for the show. The version of My Life heard in the opening credits was a version recorded by a studio musician named Gary Bennett to sound a little like Joel. This comes as a big surprise to many people, but it is worth noting that in the early days of the show, they had a limited budget, and Billy Joel was a very popular music artist at the time. The theme song was later replaced with a song called Shake Me Loose, performed by Stephanie Mills. Both songs, however, were very good at capturing the humor and essence of the sitcom and suited this show quite well. Lastly, Bosom Buddies was filmed on stage 25 at Paramount Studios, which was also the home to many other productions, like The Lucy Show, Cheers, and Frasier. Many other shows were filming nearby stage 25 at the time, and Hanks and Scolari were known for showing up in their Buffy and Hildegard wardrobe to visit their fellow TV stars at work. Pam Dauber says they frequently came to the Mork and Mindy set to watch Robin Williams rehearse. 
However, the two actors skipping around the studio wasn't the only filming shenanigans that happened on set. The two were known for cutting up while setting up shots, and it frustrated some of the crew who just wanted to get things wrapped up. Tom Hanks and Peter Scolari were two young actors having a blast, and it showed on screen. The two remained good friends, and even worked together again in the films That Thing You Do and The Polar Express. But in 2021, Peter Scolari died from leukemia at the age of 66. I hope you enjoyed this quick look back at Bosom Buddies. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. And for more just like this, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to ring the notification bell so that you can be notified when I release a new video. Stay tuned for more episodes, and thank you so much for watching.